Hello friends, this is Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we would be covering a video which is on uh, which would be covering the pricer technology of uh, the treasury management system like uh, Murex, Calypso or the prop softwares. You know, um, in this we are taking an example and that example is also pertinent with the Webley Commission report which was published after the LIBOR scandal wherein one of the recommendations of this report was that that the traders should have access to the interbank market not the salespeople although there are few banks that accepted that recommendations and there are a lot of banks who not accepted that recommendation so it's not nice to quote their name uh, here but uh, that is what the scene uh, seen right now as it uh, with, this is what the scene is right so here we uh, kept an example that uh, we are taking the largest european food company uh, which is craft foods so you have craft food since they are the largest uh, you know, they are the largest european for food company so in that sense that is very pretty sure that they have a good amount of income to manage this income they have a front office desk that front office desk is dealing with their predominant bank which is goldman sachs now goldman sachs is having the is having a you know uh, this is this is we are talking from a proprietary software we are talking from the perspective of the murex calypso and the prop and the proprietary softwares now Goldman Sachs has access to a lot of feeders because they are not short of uh, feeders, right? Who are all the feeders? Thomson Reuters, Bloomberg, MetaTraders, MetaTraders Generation 4, Generation 5. They have H HFT which is high frequency trading and they have a tele trader. Now all these uh, feeders which Thomson Reuters is having, there are a lot of benefits of different feeders. Example, uh, if you look at the Bloomberg, right? The Bloomberg currently have an inbuilt MIFID 2. So if you have Bloomberg as a feeder and suppose you have a Murex ASA in London, right? And MIFID 2 is getting applicable in 2018. So if you have a feeder as a Bloomberg, which generally the case we have in the Europe, right? So it is very easy to, to it, which is very compatible. So it is easy to, easy to follow the norms of the MIFID. Of course, that doesn't mean that uh, there is no extra effort is required in compilation of the MIFID. There is an extra effort which is required. But as regards the treasury management system technologies is concerned, it is very compatible because Bloomberg is supporting that. Now here you have, uh, you know, these feeders are there. These feeders offer a lot of prices. Sometimes these prices are, uh, sometimes these prices are, uh, you know, from the feeder side. Sometimes these prices are from the, you know, they are the customized prices. Now here you have plain, have divided into two parts basically. You have the plain vanilla feeders and you have the exotic prices. Sorry, plain vanilla prices and you have the exotic prices. Plain vanilla pricer means the prices which value uh, plain vanilla derivative. Example, forward contract. Example, buy, put and sell call. Such kind of contracts. Then you have exotic prices who value exotic derivatives. Example, uh, interest rate swaps, swaptions call option, call options, put options and others. Then you have this line of defense which is the TMS which is Murex, Calypso and the prop terminals. There are a lot of banks who do not have both Murex as well as the Calypso. There are a lot of banks who are uh, you know uh, who have their own proprietary software, so, uh, proprietary terminals like Goldman Sachs. Cost might be an issue, customization might be an issue and there are many issues right. So Goldman Sachs is having a proprietary software, the Royal Bank of Scotland is having a proprietary software and there are many banks which have a proprietary software, right? And they keep expanding it. So basically the, the, the idea is you have a front office desk here which is dealing with the Goldman Sachs and that Goldman Sachs is dealing with the feeders. So they are feeding with the Reuters, Bloomberg, MetaTrader, High Frequency Trading and TeleTrader. They will give the pricers and predominantly the pricers is divided into two parts. One is the plain vanilla uh, pricer, another is the exotic pricers. They all are connecting with the, with the TMS line of defense. Their TMS could be Murex, could be Calypso, could be the prop terminals. Then uh, Goldman Sachs would have a firewall, firewall F1. Of course there are several firewalls. This firewall, once you clear this firewall, uh, then you are in the, the, then, then here comes the sales desk. It is the first line of people who interacts with the client, but they are not the traders. It's a highly unfortunate fact that still today in India, majority of the corporate treasurer feels that they are speaking with the traders. No, they are not speaking with the traders. They are speaking with the salespeople. Salespeople in turn connecting with a lot of traders. 
and traders themselves are of various kind like option traders future traders spot traders you are uh, you know i would say exotic traders non deliverable traders swap traders position traders so there are a lot of different kind of traders so you have a sales desk which is which is connecting with the traders of the same gs traders are not at the outside people they are the one who are on the payroll of the goldman sachs they understand everything about goldman sachs they understand what is the business model they understand that what is the client requirement they understand that uh, a relevant client is taking what kind of derivative instruments sometimes they give the pricing of that derivative that derivative instrument also they further connecting with the firewall this is where the wembley comes because after libor scandal wembley came up with a recommendation and one of the recommendation of the wembley was that only the trader should have connected with the interbank desk not the sales people because once uh, the, the the entire recommendation came of libor they got to know that the sales people all the banks i don't want to name it you know that all the banks who 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 all the banks who involved in the libor scandal all the banks were joined hand together and what they did we all know the valuation of the scandal was 1760 trillion dollars which is 1.7 tera trillion dollars this was the amount so you can make a guess if uh, if you are able to make two basis point if you are able to make two basis point on 1.7 tera trillion how much money you would be making you would be making do you need to work after that or not this is the biggest question that wembley answered so traders will have a firewall not all the traders will have that access there are many traders who do not have who, do, who even do not have the access so what they do all those who have the access they have the firewall once they cross the firewall then here is the interbank market since we are talking about goldman sachs the interbank would be credit suisse jp morgan city anz westpac commonwealth bank of australia hsbc doshe ubs and the list is very long the list is not small these all either it's a sales team and the traders they are connecting with the pricers generally what is the scene is that sales people never connecting with the pricers of murex calypso and pro pricers although this is not the rule of the thumb but generally this is the scene so out of 10 you have 8 to 9 people whereby the sales team do not have access to the pricer they have to go to the trader to 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 take the price of the day but yes the sales team would have the access to the feeder pricer what is feeder pricer the pricer which is coming from reuters bloomberg meta trader high frequency trading and terry traders and then this feeder and uh, the traders would have only access to the prices of the tms which is murex calypso and the and the prop prices what are the prop prices this is proprietary trading prices i hope you understand that both murex and calypso offering every deal in three kinds one is sales one is prop one is trading so if you if if craft foods is doing a deal with the goldman sachs and suppose the value of the deal is 100 million dollars take it 1 billion dollars right and assuming this is an option contract assuming this is a range forward right without going into the details that what is the price or what is the currency in in which the delta apparently the sales team can access the feeder pricer the some thomson reuters pricer bloomberg pricer and other pricers and they can give the quote while if this while the court is actually this is an apparent court but the de dealt court or the dealing court is coming up from the traders and traders having an access to pricer of the murex calypso sometimes a customized pricer so when i'm referring murex and calypso pricers i'm referring to customized pricers also and the pro pricer pro pricer is the proprietary desk like i told you that three ways deals can be created and of course you have the interbank market sometimes you take the quote from the interbank also and uh, here comes your uh, middle and back office who will keep a watch on that whether this particular is as per the mifid compliance ma which is european uh, markets infrastructure uh, infrastructure regulation whether it is a sepa compliant which is single european payment access whether it is a target 2 and lot of these things which you look at and all the transaction reporting and the deal reporting has to has done by the back office has to has done by the back office so it is the job of the back office back office would never have an access to the feeder back office would never have an access to the pricer they would never know how to calculate the price and so on and so forth but they only know one thing that this is they know the flow but they never go to know how to calculate that 
this is how the, exactly the scene is going when you have the big tangent melvin system like murex calypso and uh, i would say the 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 prop terminals this was the purpose of the video although when you will do the configuration of either murex calypso and all these we need to appreciate that configuration is not easy and the biggest issue which would be coming is the customization because when you are talking about a bank like goldman sachs credit suisse ubs hsbc here they are dealing with almost every kind of derivative almost every and in fact i hope you are aware about that goldman sachs was the the bank he is a bank who is having a big exposure in the european you know, economies where they already solved the structured derivative so they need a strong pricers right that pricers are generally they they created uh, you know they are not been given by either murex or calypso or a very limited functionality has been given so this is how the flow of the pricer is going but unfortunately what is happening that majority of the people tend to appreciate that one car foods is dealing with the sales team you know they don't understand the 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 part which is uh, which is on the other side of the game but this is the complete cycle how the feeders reacts and feeders play a very important role uh, you know in uh, every treasury management system yes of course it is my duty to tell you that this is a separate thing that how feeders are planted in the this system in the case of the high frequency trading the feeders are planted on a real time basis because high frequency trading even track nanosecond in case of uh, there are cases without naming where the feeders give data per second there are cases where the where the feeder giving data nanosecond and there are cases where feeders giving data in a after a minute you know and there are cases where feeders stop giving the data after a point of time so example 7 pm ist or 5 pm ist the feeder will stop to stop giving the data so we have different kind of configurations with the different kind of feeders sometimes cost is an issue sometimes configuration is an issue sometimes both is an issue sometimes knowledge is an issue this is how the feeders actually goes and of course the back office and the middle office will take a look at that and last point to to make you again confirm that as per wembley only the traders would have an access to the interbank market not all the traders would have an access this is a very subjective question how banks are giving the access to the to the to the traders this is for the today's video in case you have uh, anything to ask you welcome to connect us at www.treasuryconsulting.in and uh, my mobile number is 9899242978 my email id is rahul.magan@treasuryconsulting.in we have already started the trainings of murex and we already started the trainings for calypso also probably 15 days down the line so if today is uh, 24th of uh, april 2017 are uh, 2 years uh, sorry 15 days down the line we are releasing eight kind of courses in calypso which is calypso beginner series calypso introduction to calypso calypso beginner series calypso uh, mid series calypso advanced series calyp full calypso series calypso for derivatives calypso for regulators and calypso as a buffet series so all amongst all 16 modules you can select and of course this is not the end the same eight uh, we would do in the murex also we are amending our murex course and hopefully in the next 15 days we would be able to bring at least one set on the table of either calypso and, and the murex and this is not the end we are the, our next is the fixed technology is the swift technology is the ebam and digital trade finance so there are many things which we are doing and the last point before winding up this video that treasury consulting capital market technologies academy is launching a presentation and this presentation would be covering the profile of all the people those who are working for a treasury consulting capital market academies and this academy is not more than one month old i think it is less than a month old and this academy would be covering lot of projects soon outside within and outside india and this presentation would be readily available on all social platforms like uh, linkedin slide share and others sooner or later we are we are releasing the fresh version of our corporate profile also currently it is 82 pager and hopefully the next one which is coming is more than 100 pager thank you and uh, have a wonderful time right